Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to teach you about how to manage your references in BibTeX. You have to follow these steps to manage your references in BibTeX. First of all, you will have to open your MacTech. After opening that, go to the bibliography on the menu of MacTech and from there select BibTeX instead of BibLatex. Once you select that, then go to file, click on new, then again go to file and click on save. Name the file as references.biv or whatever name you want to give it, but the extension must be .biv. Then to bring references into your this file, go to Google Scholar, search for your desired references, then click on the site option which is located under each reference. After you click the site button, another window will be opened and in that window, you will see an option called BibTeX. Click on that BibTeX. After clicking BibTeX, window will be opened where you will see that reference written in BibTeX style. Copy that reference. Paste the reference into your newly opened file, which you have given the name as references.bib. Paste that reference here and again save this file. Now you will have to repeat the steps from 6 to 10 for all of your references that you need for your thesis or synopsis etc. Again go to file, click new. This time we are going to create another file which will contain our document. Save this file as document.tex. This is the actual document file and this file will contain our thesis or our research article while the file with the extension of .bib that file will contain all of our references that we will require in this document okay once you save this document as .tex then you will have to type the following commands in the next slide and then you will have to compile the document once you type all the commands in your document.tex go to the green triangular button located on the top of the MacTech. click that button after clicking that go to tools inside tools go to commands and then click bibtech after clicking bibtech you will have to recompile your document and after you recompiling the document you will see the results okay type these commands in your document file First of all, you will have to write document class and inside the curly braces, you will have to write article if you are writing, if you are going to write research article. And if it is a book, then you will have to write book and if it's thesis, then write thesis. After that, the another command that you require is slash begin document and then it's closing tag that is slash end document. These are two complementary tags that you need to write. After this, another command that we require in bib tags is the slash bibliography command and in the curly braces in front of slash bibliography command you will have to write the file name or where you have saved your the references and the file name we have given name is references.bib but here you do not need the dot bib extension you will just have to write the name of the file after this Another command is slash bibliography style. Here in this command, this command will specify the style of your references. Here you can write nature style, science style, APA style, etc. etc. So now the basic skeleton of the document is complete. Now you will have to write your introduction, abstract, methodology, and result section here in between slash begin document and slash bibliography here in this area. Now start writing your thesis. For example, the first sentence of your thesis is Mr. Khan said this, this and that. After this sentence, you will have to give the citation of the article. So slash cite and after slash cite, you will have to give a key in the curly braces. This key is present in this file. So every reference in this file has a key. So whichever reference you want to cite here, you will have to give that key. But as soon as you start typing slash cite, all the keys will appear here and you will just have to select one of the key. After typing this, just press the compile button. After compile button, then go to tools, commands, 
and click on BibTeX. After that, again, you will have to compile the document and then you will see the results. So these are some BibTeX style names. These names are required to be written in this field that is bibliography style. So you will have to write one of these style names over there. There are a lot of styles available on Google. You can just search about uh, BibTeX style names on Google and you will find hundreds of styles on Google. Whatever style you want, you can just type that name. So now let's come towards the practical tutorial. Open your MicTech. As I told you that after opening your MicTech, go to file, click new, then I go again, go to file, save, give a name to this file that is uh, references. References, the extension should be BIB. Click on save and your file will be saved as references.bib. Remember, this is the file where we will save all our references that we copy from Google Scholar or from whatever source you want to copy. So now save this file and now let's go to Google Scholar and bring some references to this file. Now you search for your desired references, for example, virtual screening. Now here, under each reference, you can see these comma-like things. If you bring your mouse over it, you will see site written over here. Just click on this button. Now this window will be opened. Now click on BibTeX. Copy this reference. Now go to your BibTeX and click it here. Now go to File and Save again. So this reference will be saved there. Now repeat these steps. Go to Google again. Search for another reference, whatever reference you want. Then click on this site button. BibTeX. Select all. Copy. MicTeX. Paste it here and save it again. Again, go to Google, site, BibTeX, select all, copy, paste, and save this document. So now this file is complete. This is the file that contains all our references. Now go to file again, click on new. This file will contain our document, the research article, the thesis, the synopsis, proposal, book, or anything you want to write. So now you will have to save this file. File, save. This file must be saved with the extension .tex. So we have just given the name document.tex. Save this file, okay? Now this file is saved with the name document dot tex now let's just copy all this content over there okay we have written here slash document class article begin document end document inside begin and end document we have written bibliography and in bibliography this is the name of this file, the references file that is references.bib. You don't need uh, .bib extension. Just write the name references. Okay, next is the bibliographic style. Here you will have to write the name of the style. Let's see the names of the styles. These are some of the names of the style. For example, I want to give this style, cam commune. Uh, here I'm going to write cam. C-O-W-M-U-N, CAM commune. This is the style I want in my thesis. And then you will have to type your documents here in this area, just after slash begin document. Here, I just want to remove this and then I will write it again. As I have already told you that we will have to go to this bibliography and we will have to select BibTeX. As you, uh, as you can see that BibTeX is already selected, so I don't need to select it again. 
if you are going to manage your references with BibliaTek, then you will have to select this one. Otherwise, BibTeX is selected. After this, just compile once your document. This will appear here, but there is no references here. So to put references in my document, I will have to give slash CITE. As soon as I type slash site, you can see that all the references available in this file that is in this .bib file are appeared. So you can select any of these references. Let me select this reference. So this is the key that is available in this file. So let's see if this key is available in this file or not. So this is the bis ends 2000 protein. Yeah, this is the key. At the rate article, so after this calibris, you can see the key of the article. So this is the key of this article. This is the key of this is the key of this reference, while this is the key of this reference. So all these key appear in this document as soon as you write slash site. So this is the first reference I wrote here. After this, Mr. Ali said slash site and now let me select this this reference Irwin after this Mr. Ahmed said that then slash site let me select this reference ah yes now if you want to uh, cite more than two references or at the same place then just put comma after the first one and a list of references will appear here then give another then select another reference give comma and select another reference mr so and so said so and so so slash site uh, let me select the reference this first reference again and let's see what citation number it gave here it gave it to this reference okay let now you will have to click this compile button you can either click this button or this button this button will only compile your document over here and will not show you the result to see the result you will have to click this lens button after this so if you are going to click this triangle then you must click on this otherwise you will not see the result however this button has a unique property that is it has the combined effect of this and this button so just you will need to click once so let me click this button we are just seeing the result we didn't need to click on this tools commands and then web text sometimes just by clicking this, you do not see the effect here. Then you will have to go to this tools, commands, and bib tag. After clicking this, you will have to click this button again. It means this button, then tools, bib tag button, and then again this. So it's a cycle. Okay, let me zoom this style. Here you can see these are the references given here and now let's change this style and see the effect of this style okay now let's change the name of the style and type another name for example i'm writing here plane so change the name type plane here again refresh this click this button if it has not changed go to tools Click this button again and see the effects. Now it has shown the effect here. So that was all about how to manage your references with BibTech. And inshallah, my next video will be about the comparison of BibTech and BibliaTech. So that's all. Bye.